In today's video, I'm going to show you a completely free piece of keyword research software that's going to allow you to find loads of profitable keywords for your KDP books. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new place. As you can see, it's a slightly different background to the other videos here. I've actually moved into a new um, accommodation out here in Bali. I've actually had a bit of an issue with the lighting this morning. It was so bright, so you actually couldn't see me. So hopefully I'll fix that now and you can actually hear me and see me properly. But like I said, it's going to be a really good video on a free piece of keyword research software. So for those of you that are new here, welcome to the channel. I obviously document loads of different KDP tips and tricks to help you achieve KDP success that I have done in the last three and a half years, self-publishing on Amazon KDP. If you are looking for an accelerated and more personal kind of education on how you can grow your KDP account to the next level, then I do have two online courses. I'll leave a link to down in the description below. We have a beginner course and an advanced course. So kind of choose the one that you think is appropriate for you. And I can't wait to help you achieve all your KDP success. We're gonna jump into the actual video now, which is gonna be this free piece of keyword research software. We're gonna jump straight into the website that I'm gonna be on about. And it's actually sellerapp.com. So this is kind of, um, I think again, kind of for Amazon FBA, but you can use it for KDP books too. So the website you wanna to go to is sellerapp.com slash Amazon reverse ASIN.html. And what it will do is show you this page here. But one thing I'm gonna recommend you do is make a free account. It's completely free to sign up. So just make an account and you can kind of get a bit more functionality out of it. So once you have made the account, what you're gonna be doing is seeing a screen like this. You then wanna just jump over to the left-hand side and use the keyword tool and then select the reverse ASIN. So for those of you that don't know what a reverse ASIN search is, essentially all it is is every single product on Amazon will have an ASIN number. So every book, for this example here, this unicorn coloring book, will have an ASIN number that we can use. So we just scroll down here. You can see this is our ASIN number here. And what we're gonna do is just pop this ASIN number into our search, uh, our search bar. All that's gonna do is look into this book listing and look at all of the keywords that this book is ranking for and give them all to us so we can know exactly how many keywords and what specific keywords this book is ranking for. So what we're gonna do for this example, you can use up to four ASINs for this, but for this example, we're just gonna use one for simplicity of this video. But if, it, if this was an actual example of me genuinely doing it for myself, what I would do if I was making a unicorn coloring book, I'd take the ASINs from kind of four different really well-performing unicorn coloring books and therefore you're gonna get loads more keywords and also a lot more relevant data from there. But for this example, I'm just gonna use one um, book here. So I'm just gonna go here um, and copy the ASIN into here. And then just press search and what it's gonna do is look into the backend data of this book and spit out all of the keywords for us. So you can see here, We've got 500 or 499 keywords from this. So that's actually really, really useful. I'm going to take you through each kind of section um, slowly as we go through. So the first thing you obviously have is the keyword. So the specific keyword that this book is ranking for. You then have a relevant score, which I generally don't rely on too much. I kind of use my own brain to see how relevant it is to the book because you kind of can't have like a blanket statement over how relevant a book is because every book is going to be completely different. So I wouldn't worry too much about this one. This search volume score, again, is a really important column to be looking at. It's essentially how much search volume um, each keyword gets over a month. I don't know specifically how accurate this is because in my opinion, Unicorn Kids Book, I would have imagined have got more than 100 searches back um, in a month. So I don't necessarily know how accurate this number is here, but again, that's kind of the trade-off you pay for a free piece of software. This isn't going to be as good as paid software such as um, Publisher Rocket or also Helium 10, but that's kind of the, the trade-off you have. It's good information to get, but it's not quite as good um, as the paid um, pieces of software. But like I say, it's a good place to start if you don't want to invest any money into your keyword research. We then have a uh, cost per click, which is more for kind of Amazon ads. So I wouldn't worry too much about this if you're just doing your keyword research. And then these two or um, metrics here, estimated orders and also conversion rate. Again, I don't know how accurate these are, so I just generally don't really look too much at these. I'm just using the search volume column as an idea of how in demand a certain keyword is here. And what's really good about SellerApp and why I think it's a better alternative to ASIN Seed. So if you haven't checked out that video, then please do, I'll leave a link um, below in the description, also in the top corner um, somewhere in this video. To that, where I basically talk through another free alternative to keyword research, which is ASIN Seed, but I actually think this is a better product because you can just do a little bit more with it. There's more results. And also you can kind of toggle um, based on, on basically filter based on different metrics. So what you can do here is you can order all of this data by search volume. So you can see all of the keywords that come out for this one coloring book, how many searches it gets per month. Again, like I say, 
take these relatively lightly. They aren't going to be super accurate compared to, like I say, Helium 10 or Publisher Rocket, but they just give you a general good idea. And all I would do for my keyword research using this piece of software, I would look through each of these words here and any relevant keyword that has a relatively decent search volume, I would write that down, put it in maybe a Google Sheet or an Excel sheet and just um, collate all of these different keywords and have them in one place. You can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to use for your book. So I just scroll down here. Let's just say this unicorn cologne book one was for me. Something like kids book, it's just very broad. So I probably wouldn't actually include that in mine. Kids unicorn costume. Again, this is saying relevance is high. Kids unicorn costume isn't actually what we're targeting. We have a kids unicorn book. So also be very careful with Amazon's terms and conditions. You don't want to be misleading customers. It's actually against um, Amazon's kind of guidelines to include misleading keywords. So don't be tempted by high search volume words that aren't actually related to your book because it can get you in trouble and in extreme cases can get your KDP account banned. So please don't be tempted to do that. Keep as relevant as you possibly can and don't mislead the customer. So we keep going down here, what else have we got? Kids activity book. Again, it kind of could be related. It's not specific to unicorn, but this is, I guess, a coloring book is a form of activity book. But again, this is quite a competitive keyword as we know. So just keep going through all of these and just look for the ones that are related to your book with a decent search volume. And one thing I really like about this um, seller app, um, Reverse Ace and Search as well, is you can expect, export all of this data to um, Excel or kind of just do a CSV file. So for those other data nerds out there, this is a really good thing to do. So you can, let's just say you had four different ASINs in here. You're going to have loads of keywords. It's going to be too much just kind of filter through manually. So what you can do, just press this export button and it's going to download a CSV file for you. Um, you can start a seven day free trial to do this. So if you want to kind of do all your keyword research in one go, just press this export button and then start your seven day free trial. Get all the keywords that you need in this kind of seven days and then also just create a new account if you need to um, do that again. So you don't actually have to pay the full price for something like this. But that's a really good way of finding your keywords if you want to export it and do it outside of this app specifically. So that is a very quick run through. I won't go into any more detail that you don't already need to know. If you did enjoy this video and you end up using Setup, then please do let me know how you get on with it. I think it's a really cool piece of software and it's going to help so many people be successful with KDP. So if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like and also subscribe for more KDP content and I will see you in the next one.